Welcome back, everybody. All right, so Chinese New Year summon. That's what it's called. We made a video last night about this. Didn't know the full details of what's about to happen. On the face of it, it says only 50 orbs to do. Um, <laughs> it says step 1, 6, and 11 of the multi summon costs only 50 orbs. Yeah, but we're going to take a look at it in a second and see is it worth it? It's dropping on the 24th, guys, because it's happening tomorrow. Oh my god. So, yeah, we'll be live most likely doing this, um, doing that multi because it is 50 orbs, a 3% chance, 50 orbs. It may just be worth it. We'll find out anyway, but let's get into some of the details. The multis, you already know how it goes down. Um, you go from step one to five, and then it repeats itself, and repeats itself, and then it repeats itself again. And then once you've done it three times over, it then just goes to step 16 only, which is 250 orbs, 6% uh, chance, and you get a free revival candle. Here's the thing. You got 25 orbs of single, and you got a 6% chance you get a free power heart with it. Forget the free power heart because that's OP. All right, let's forget about that for a second. You need to do four multis. So that is um, the first one's 50. Second one is, what is it? 150. The third one is 200. So if you think about it, right, you have to get all the way to the fourth step for your, for your draw rate to go to 6%. So to, in order to double your chance, you have to go to step four. But if you do singles, it stays at a steady 6%. Now, I'm not saying that everybody should be summoning. I'm saying for those of you that need these characters, and we're going to take a look at the filler pool now. But for those of you that need these characters, maybe singles could be the way. All right, other than the five they showed at the beginning, you guys saw on, on the main banner itself. You see, it's in game right now, guys. These are the standout characters, okay? I mean, they are the five-star characters. So there's no other pool in this. There is no... Um, uh, what do you call it? The other, the other lot, the basic, you know, from premium summons. None of those. It's all of these twenty characters you see. They're the twenty characters in the pool. But I checked the details. No other characters mentioned except this fifteen and the five they showed on the banner. So, all right. So where are they going forward with this, guys? There's characters here that if you're new to the game, you're gonna want, right? Whether you need them is one thing, but to want is another. I'm standouts for me. Why did you go tensor spirit sight again? That Byakuya is pretty good. Parasol Aizen, nice. Rukia, I believe Toshiro. Red Kenny. And you need a Shinji as well. All right. You've seen this now. You're looking at this. You're thinking, but if I have most, let's just say you've got 50% of these characters. What am I really summoning for? I mean, moving forward in the game, Transcendence is becoming a big thing now, right? Summoning for dupes. I'm not asking you to do that. If you don't want to, if you don't have most of these characters, this step ups could be good for you. I'm not saying do all 15 steps. I'm saying do as many as you need to, maybe to get the characters you want, if you need these characters, because you got to look forward to, guys, right? We've got end of the month coming up soon. That gacha is going to be big. We've got thousands of Blood War coming up. We've got Calm for your own world. So there's a lot of summons to look forward to. Is it worth transcending these characters? Are they going to be that important? For me, honestly, I need that white Ichigo and I need the Tensor. Am I going to drop a cheeky multi? Hell yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to do it. 50 orbs, 3% chance. I know it's not a lot. And a lot of you guys are saying, yo, Cash, yo, you're mad. Ain't, I'm not dropping no sing. I'm not dropping a multi on this. That's crazy. At 3%, I'd rather summon on premium pool. You could do, but that's going to cost you 250 And that could give you an older character or even a newer character, but it's 250 orbs. For 50 orbs, what do you guys think? Is it worth a cheeky multi trying to get two characters? I think it is. Let me know what you guys think about the filler pool because there's some decent characters here. By the way, seasonal. You could drop a multi in the premium, but you're not going to get seasonal in there because seasonal are not going to be in a gacha. Like, Rookie is not going to be in it. Um, the Aizen, the Byakuya, the Gin, they're not going to be in the premium pool. So, think about that. They're seasonal characters and they won't be guys. So, if you want these characters, you don't have them, this could be a good opportunity. But again, I, I want to know your thoughts now on the 20 characters that they put in these step ups. Is it worth it? Right now, comment section below. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed the video, as always, smash that like button. Share this video with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Because that's your boy Dom. This is your boy Cass. And we're out.